Welcome to another video everybody. Today we are going to be doing something that I've been waiting to do for a long time and that is the tail lights. I hope your day is going wonderful. Let's get into it. Like I said in the last video, there will be a spicy edit at the end of this one, so stick around for that. But for now, let's get into unboxing these. Now these were made in another country, so I cannot promise the quality of them, but they were just on Amazon and cheap. I am mostly replacing these because uh, my driver's side tail light has a crack in them, and these ones do not have a crack. And then these are also LEDs. I've been wanting to swap two LEDs for a while now, just because they're so bright. And my bulb just went out, and I just don't want to buy another one, even though those are cheap. But here we kind of have them. They're looking good. Now these guys come with just incandescent bulbs for the turn signal and reverse light and I may replace the reverse light soon but not the turn signal yet. I will wait for a new front bumper because I'm going to do LEDs there. And you have to add a resistor to the signal that sends because it thinks it's blown if it's an LED instead of an incandescent because of the difference in resistance between incandescent and LED bulbs but the tail lights will be fine. Now these guys should be pretty easy. I have pulled the tail lights off before and we'll just do this passenger real fast and then I'll show you the process on the driver. Seems like I spoke too soon. We need to get to the connector inside the car behind this panel. So I'm gonna have to pull my drawer system forward by dropping the seats and then pull it forward. And then I'll have to take off this trim piece down here and then pull this one out. So, let's do it. These things look so good. Like I said, this bulb is out. I don't think the brake one is, but here's that crack. But dang, these look good. Let's turn off the lights and I'll cycle through everything to show you. Here's all that I'm using. Got a little plastic trim tool, a short Phillips, long Phillips. Um, this extension is way long, but just a 10 mil, and then there's another 10 mil that's shorter, and that's all. So this piece goes right here, it'll come off. It just has some screws and some clips. You kind of pull up on it. And then over here, I already took this guy off. It has that same screw, goes into there. And then you kind of just pull on this thing, it'll bring this whole entire thing over. I also did do the top real fast, and that one just has some red clips. Just got to be careful and make sure those stay in position for when you go back up and in. And same with like white ones in here. Okay, let's get this guy off. I did forget there are two 10 mils, and that's what I'm using the long for. So we can take this guy off. I also did forget there is a little 10 mil right here, or this is a Phillips, and this one is missing it actually, so that's needed to pull this all the way off too. Now there is a clip in here, you can see that white clip, disconnect that, and then there's also a ground. It's kind of hard to pull this, but that bolt is a ground. I have some stuff for reverse light in here, so don't worry about all that. And then this guy will come out by just pushing this way on the top and bottom, and it will kind of just pop off. And then it has a grommet, and the new headlight will replace all of this. I might as well show you this. So for the rear camera that I got, it came with just a positive wire and then this hooks into the reverse light. So whenever you put it in reverse, it thinks that camera is on or it makes the camera go on. And then I, and then here's the ground for that camera. And then I wired in this. This is just a switch with 12 volts positive. And 
Um, when I was switching this, it would actually think that it's in reverse because it's sending the signal from the reverse light back. So on here, I actually just put a diode in. This guy makes it so the flow only goes towards the car. And now when I hit the switch, it just turns on the camera and that's it. And then I wired this in. This was kind of what I had before, but now it's detachable with some spade connectors. Yeah, this is what I had before into the same wire, just those two. And that was not good. Now I'm good to put this in and we're good to go. I hope that you enjoyed that. I am sorry for the tardiness on this video. Me and Charlie just have a lot going on. We just got engaged a few months ago and we're planning a wedding and then we are also under contract on a house. So that is taking up a lot of time and I'm trying to find the time to edit and also film. I also just fixed the Forerunner. One of the top hats majorly failed and I'll overlay some footage, um, but um, it might have been my fault and maybe eventually I'll get some new front shocks, but we'll see. Going there, I just replaced the top hat. But either way, I do plan on doing a lot more videos. I have a huge list on the Forerunner, and then we are moving a little bit farther from work, so I might get a commuter car too. Do some videos on that, we'll have to see. But if you wanna see those, please let me know. And I think that's all I have for you in this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.